Nikki, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the TCU Horn Frogs and the Gonzaga Bulldogs? Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Bulldogs are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. Number one, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Next, don't let that big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Thirdly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They'll work it around the arc. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He wants a three. Tickles a twine. Let's look at it again. Pushing that basketball. Robs him of the ball. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. He's got to get rid of it. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Horn Frogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Trying to pack it inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. With the jump hook, they are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. He keeps the dribble as they reset on the outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of play. He'll regroup the offense. Takes the pass in the paint. It's stolen. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Puts it up, looking for contact. TCU have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Up and inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Gets the rejection. The last line of defense is a good block. He shoots from the angle. Knocks it down. They're working around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Inside. Turns it over. The shooting guard with the ball. He hits the shot. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> The 
elbow. They feed down to the low block. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. And the ball goes out of bounds. Lane is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. The ball goes out of play. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Both free throws go. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of play. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post flashes for the opportunity. Gave it up. The center gets the pass. Scorches the net. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped them. Trying to draw some contact. Look at that spacing. They've left him completely alone. It sticks. We'll get another look at it. teams are looking to get something going here too physical oh and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul oh that's a bad bad foul right there brad fed the low block double team now bad angle for the bucket perfectly executed Working around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. He gets that one to fall. Let's see the replay. The power forward takes the feed. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The player was really right on top of that basketball. Inside, Grace draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll shoot two. He hits his first. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the frustration right there. The 
the shooting guard gets the ball. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Oh, what a strip, Red. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Looking for contact. Makes the shot. There's a double team waiting there. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. in the low post defensively great anticipation in the steal you could see they did a great job studying in film they anticipated that ball coming to that post jumped in front to take it away the point guard takes the pass now they work it around the perimeter for two Gonzaga are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Unloads. He buries it. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well here's a flash from the high post great anticipation defensively Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He gets the rebound. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Watch again. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Way off target. Take some pride on the defensive end. Intercepted. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Waller is asking the fans to get behind his team right now. He wants everyone up for the next possession. He shoots. Off the mark with that shot. Up and inside. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Moving it around the perimeter on the inside. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. For the buck. 
like it. Perfectly executed. Let the replay show us the real deal. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Gave it up. He bombs from outside. Sinks the shot. You guys got the replay ready up there? Here we go. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. All right, thanks, Aaron. There was no doubt about that one. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Picks off the pass. Basic. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Basket falls despite the contact. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Aaron's right about that. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. In the paint. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. Entry pass in the paint, tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. a pass on the outside for two perfectly executed leaning in trying to draw contact Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Horn Frogs have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the baseline. You betcha. Here's one more look at it.
They work it around the perimeter. Number 42 is being praised by the crowd. What a great reception. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He looks at the hoop. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Blocks the shot. Great job of rotating back. Now they got numbers. Nice hops. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Or two. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. TCU are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Coming back the other way. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Up and inside. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the bucket. Nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. set up but the shot won't go looking for a good shot we're going to move it around the perimeter and the ball goes out of bounds forward in the paint. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. At half 
halftime, the Bulldogs trail by one. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half partner not so much taken away but give it away if you can't take care of the rock you're not going to win many games let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews Aaron well Brad and Dick as we know this is it now I could hear from both teams huddles the excitement they are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor this is going to be an exciting second half all right thanks Aaron Spacey. There's the pick. There's the roll. He takes it away. On the outside. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. around the perimeter. Waller has got the fans roaring and applauding. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. They're working around the perimeter. Lane handles the feed. And now they'll bring it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Time to pick up the defense here now. the arc goes up for two the land we gotta roll that one back Patterson receives the ball three-pointer TCU have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. He tries the three ball. It's good. There they come with a double team to stop it. Makes an outstanding block. That's the luxury of the home court advantage. You have the crowd chanting, jumping around, fired up. It is awesome. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> the power forward receives the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The small forward handles the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. In the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork.
There he is, strips the ball loose. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. It's a fast break possibility. Gonzaga are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. Goes in. Entry pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. He strips him clean. Tickles the twine. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, keeping him to the spot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That's an eight zip run. Gave it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. On the inside for the bucket. In and out. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. He fouled him. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Bulldogs are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes it. Gonzaga are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. And he got them both. Entry pass in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Another turnover. You're not talking about the turnovers either. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. There's the trap. Strips the ball. Here we go on the break. For the deuce. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. He nails the bucket. Gives it up. Takes it off him. Looking to run now. Tries for two. He gets the bucket. The Bulldogs lead by nine. He gets the rejection. He's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from outside. No good. Picked out of the air. For two. Drains it. 
Steals the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. He comes away with it. Goes up for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. He fakes the shot. Tries for two. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. With a block. And then coming the other way. Nice stepping it, man. Take a look right here. A little burst of ball from shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Great defense. The fake. High post flashes for the ball handler. Gave it up for two. Up and in. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gonzaga is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He's trying to get the crowd fired up. I think he feels the importance of this defensive possession, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the outside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. Picked off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Steals the pass. They're working around the perimeter. Fakes the jumper. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There they come with a double team to stop it. Parks comes up with it. Up and inside. They'll work it around the arc. Guns up the deep one. Gonzaga are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad.
Tries for two. And off the mark. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots, a role very important. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Takes away the pass. Fakes the shot. Terry look from three-point land. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He intercepts it. Defense got it after knocking it loose. That's good. in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. They get out on the break. For two. Easy one. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the deuce. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. This is what you're supposed to do down low is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. the lazy pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Nice fake. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Steal. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. In the paint. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Number 42 with the fake. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He shoots from long range. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Finger roll. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Kicks it out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the ball goes out of play. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Yeah. 
trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Moving it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'll work it around the arc. He strips him clean. For two. Up. Easy one. Gave it up. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Gets it back out. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. alley -oop. Looking for contact. Lays it up. surprised that they changed things up a little bit, Brad. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to go. Pushes it up. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. the clock again this crowd is unbelievable tonight oh they're emotional they're back they're jammed you can't find an empty seat and yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here and they continue to foul to stop the clock Brad I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game they should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter and yet another foul. Foul, wow, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back to this game. At the foul line. Hits that one. Second shot, good. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. On the outside. Cross court. Takes the three-pointer. Rims out. And the clock stopped with a foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Just about ready for a play to resume. Puts up the tray. Buries it. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game. And the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He'll have one and the bonus. Misses the front end of the one and one. 
This is where you really need a bucket to have a chance. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Misses the first. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. No good. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They gotta start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. He shoots from the elbow. The Horn Frogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. from the outside. And we are headed for overtime. I hope not too many fans gave up their seats, Brad. At the end of the second half, it's a dead heat. These teams are going into overtime. This is everything we can ask for. It's everything that basketball fans across the country can ask for. NCAA tournament game and overtime. I tell you, Brown, I know you and I love it. The players love it. The coaches love it. But isn't it going to be sad that one of these clubs is going to walk out of here with an L? Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. For the deuce, he puts it in with contact and all. Brad. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries to get the D to bite. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Team now, bad angle. Stolen. There's a steal. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Cross court. He shoots from downtown. Buried it. Intercepted. 
for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Attempts the three. He gets the bucket to fall. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. It's good. He drew the foul off a hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. I'll tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Open inside. They move it into the front court. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that. And let's go back out onto the floor. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Pushes it. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Picks off the pass. Gives it up. Launches away. He gets the bucket. two-point game. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And yet another foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He goes to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. 
They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes his second shot. They can make it very interesting with a score here. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. On the outside, he goes for three. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. And the clock stopped with a foul. They will line them up. Makes the shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He hits the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. He comes away with it. And yet another foul. He has one and the bonus. Sinks it. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Gets the second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. We're about ready to start things up again. He unloads a three, rims out. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. TCU is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.